Ah, Warframe. Green pastures, beautiful skies, and literally everything alive wants to kill you. But fret not, you have your pal Ortis, your ship's friendly computer. Get out of here before I purge you. And Lotus, your benevolent all-knowing guide, who I still think is trying to kill me every mission. Hello everyone, Schizoid here, and this is your guide to how to get strong in two weeks with no cash in Warframe. Now, first things first, you're gonna want to get that little thing they put on your leg off. So start with the first quest, it'll teach you a lot of the basics. Once you complete Vor's prize, congrats, you are now a Tenno. So you've gotten that thing off your leg, but what do you do now? Well. By this time, you just want to get to Mastery Rank 2, and have about 15k credits. Once you've achieved these, get yourself to the market and get yourself a bolter. Just go to the market tab, select the primary weapons, and make sure to check the blueprint, otherwise it'll take your platinum. And then build it. If you need more materials, just google where they drop. Now once you have your bolter built, it's time to terrorize the populace of Earth, and continue on through Venus, Mars, and into Jupiter. This is just to give us access to the better low-level farms, to help us advance faster to our true goal, the endgame farms. Face it, this whole game is farming, just get used to it. Now in this video, I'm not going to go through ranking up mods or endo, but I will post a few links in the description below. Basically, I just look up the builds on Warframe Builder and then buy the mods needed for that build. They seem to work. As far as what I would upgrade, mod-wise, I would definitely upgrade your primary weapon mods first. Get yourself some vitality and shields, but upgrade the bolter. It will carry you into Jupiter and beyond. Really, I don't really use the sidearm, the melee, keep rotating them out to gain mastery rating. Mastery Rating unlocks new weapons for you to use, and also, the very important part, gives you more trades per day. More on that later though. Now this is a no money guide, so how am I buying all the mods and other things that I need to get stronger? Well, in Warframe there are these little things called relics, and every relic has a chance to drop multiple pieces of loot on a scaling system. Most likely, you have quite a few relics already in your inventory if you've gotten to Jupiter. Always do it in a public party. That way, you might get a shot at some rare relics and their prizes, because at the end of each run, everyone gets to choose from everyone else's prizes. You could all pick one thing, which is usually actually what happens. One person gets lucky, everyone benefits. Either way, you're going to want all the prime pieces you can get. Basically, so you can sell them to players for platinum, the cash currency in this game. I highly recommend the site Warframe.Market, as basically you just list your pieces and then people message you in game and you make money. No spamming in trade chat, none of that. Easy peasy, lazy person's best friend. When you get the plat, of course you're going to get the mods that you can't get access to now, the very important ones for your bolter builds that you looked up on Warframe Builder. You can also spend your plat on the Warframe slots, the Weapon slots, the Orokin Catalyst, and the Orokin Reactors. When you're new, you're not going to want to spend outside of that. I have spent Platinum on some weird things now, like uh, my Potato Icon, Platinum Purchase. Completely worth it. Did I mention this was a 12-step program? It is. But number 5 is farming, 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 farming some more and farming. For Endo, my suggestion before you can get into the end game stuff is Jupiter. The planet is just called IO, I guess you would just say the letters, not sure. And for credits, you're going to want to go on to the mission Seaman from Ceres. You're also going to be farming vault runs, but we'll touch on more on that later. And of course, you're still going to be farming your relics. Now, part of step 5 is also obtaining a guild. 
Guilds are very, very, very useful in Warframe, as is almost everything is done better in a group. You join the guild because that's where you get access to your trades. Otherwise, you have to go to a stupid planet, go stand there like an idiot under a tree with your character's hand waving in the air like a reject. On top of that, they have many, many blueprints available for different weapons to raise your mastery rank, and quite a few of them are actually available to low mastery ranks, such as the Ignis, one of my favorite weapons still. And they also might have higher level people who can help you with tough missions, such as the Assassinates. Now, what are these vault runs you were talking about earlier? So, vault runs are one of kind missions, and you're going to need the guild from the previous step. Yes, they're the only place that you can get the keys to use to open the vault. Basically, you're going to go to the guild's room called the Solar Rail. And then you're going to go to the little terminal on the side. For some reason, the one in the front doesn't work. And get the blueprints for the dragon keys. You have extinguished, you have decaying, you have bleeding, and you have hobbled. Now, if you're low on credits, I would definitely suggest getting the extinguished key. Because what Extinguish does is it makes you do 75% less damage. Most likely, since you're really new to the game, and vaults are fairly high level, you won't be doing much damage anyway, so it won't be too much of a burden. And also, no one gets mad at the Extinguish guy for not killing anything. We are going to target specific frames, as our goal is to get as strong as possible, as fast as possible. So we're going to go after specific frames that are high in demand for the endgame farms. For the endo farm, we're going to go with Necros. And with the credit farm, we're going to go with the Rhino. Now the Rhino is a really, really good all-around frame. It will help you soar through the, the planets. It's strong, it can't die. Well, it can die, but it's really hard to die in a Rhino. And it's also really easy to get. The Rhino drops its parts, well, the blueprints for its parts, from Jackal, who's located on the planet Fossa, Venus. Just queue up and wait for a squad. Venus is also very, very early, like I said, and you can get through it really fast. Get that Rhino making. If you make 50 plat, it's okay to rush the three-day cook time on the Rhino itself. Don't, don't rush the pieces. Just the Rhino itself. Okay. Now the Necros. This one's a bit trickier. You're gonna have to go to the marketplace and get a blueprint for the derelict assassinate key, and it uses a Lymphatis node. Luckily, if you were following my instructions, you will have plenty of these nodes from all the vault runs you have been doing, because you've been working so hard on that. And I would definitely get a group for this. 100% this assassinate is quite difficult, Spam in recruit chat and get yourself a group. Honestly, one decently geared person can solo this, but we're new. You probably don't have everything. I would definitely suggest wearing your Rhino into that fight. And if you've hit mastery rank 7, get yourself a Tigris. With Rhino and Tigris, you could probably solo him. You can thank me later. Also, the Tigris goes well into late game. Now, after running that mission repeatedly and getting the same pieces like four chassis, three neuroptics, and then finally the systems, you will be ready for the index and the Vodyanoi. I'm sorry, I butcher that. Basically, the arena that takes judgment points. For Credit Farm, you will be doing the index, using your Rhino as a point tank. Basically, you're just going to carry all the points, collect little green dots, and stay alive. It's your only job. It's really great, really easy. Lots of credits. For the endo farm, Necros. You're going to want to get a mod called Despoiled. Slap that on there, hop in, click the button, and go AFK. Well, make sure to pick up the endo balls. Otherwise, what's the point? I'll be making guides for both of these two separate things in a later video. And this is the first guide I've made for Warframe. As you can see, I am still pretty new. Still learning a lot, but now I can go in and do sorties within two weeks of playing with not spending a single penny. And I hope this guide helps you too. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I look at them all the time.
Mostly because they don't exist.